guys, you have no idea. Okay, so I had to get on here and tell you guys this. What's up? Hey, hi, hello. Welcome back to another vlog. This is going to be a daily vlog. Spend the day with me. I don't know what else is going to be in the rest of the vlog, but I had to hop on and update you on this. If you watched my previous video, you did know that um, my car was robbed. Um, someone broke in, a few, three people, um, and took absolutely everything. It unfortunately was a day when I left my stuff in my car. It was totally my bad. The car was locked though. Um, they were able to get into the window, disable the panic alarm, and literally took everything. I was vlogging that day. My camera was also in there. Anywho, got on inst finished. I uh, switched some things up with security so that can never happen again. Had the car rekeyed, reprogrammed, all that stuff. Anywho, so we're completely good now, but I had everything stolen. My debit card, credit card. I had cash on me that day, my YouTube camera, everything, right? So I was super emotional. I was really upset in the moment. I felt really just violated and unsafe. And even just driving my car now, it doesn't feel like that new, beautiful, car that I was so excited to have because it feels like other people have been in here and it's been invade my privacy has been invaded and all that whatever so that was almost a week ago I was the first day just so upset called the police made the police report called my dad crying and was really just upset and emotional again just feeling like my, my privacy was invaded and just feeling very unsafe um but I took a day or two, got in a better mindset. I'm like, you know what, what can this teach me? It was my fault for leaving my stuff in the car. Let me not do that again. And then, um, you know, I'm very a very conscious manifester. I know that my thoughts create my reality and by me sitting there being sad and emotional, it wasn't gonna help the situation. So just try to be so, so, so grateful that Christian and I are safe. It was nothing worse um, and kind of move forward. So I am just so blown away at this. Okay, I hope I don't cry. So earlier this morning at about 10 a.m., my doorbell rang. And Sadie starts barking whenever the doorbell rings. She like goes nuts. I'm like, who could that be? Because my boyfriend was over. Christian was there with me. And I'm like, who else could that be? I didn't have any visitors coming over. I look through the people and it's this older gentleman. He's like 80. And I'm like, not saying that's like old, but an older gentleman, you know, I was out running errands all day if I look a little, come on, curl, <laughs> look crazy. Um, I look through the people. I'm like, what the heck? I open the door. This man goes, are you Jordan? I'm like, yes. Hands me a trash bag and says, my wife and I found all of this stuff at a park. So he hands me a trash bag. I look inside. It's all my debit. It's my debit cards, my credit cards, my Disneyland pass, my car insurance. It's all my cards. Now, keep in mind, I did not get back my purse, my wallet, my YouTube camera, a few other things that they took. But he does have all of my cards and he just hands me this trash bag and I look inside it and I just start bawling. So sweetest man ever com comes to my house with his wife his wife is like sitting in my driveway in her truck um so i got there go out there and talk to them both and they told me that they were on their morning walk together so sweet um and they found my stuff scattered all over a park like two towns away from me so it was not close to my house at all it was probably like 25 minutes away so whoever robbed my car took my stuff Maybe they were on foot walking to another town. I have no idea. Um, but that they found all that stuff and they spent all day, the prior day, trying to find me. So they've been trying to find me. Um, I don't want to say why because of security, but a certain address of mine was not, I don't want to say it. Anywho, it wasn't, it was not apparent where I lived. Um, so they got in touch with my old realtor and a family friend and like they literally spent their entire day the day prior trying to find my address so they could personally drive my things back to me i cannot even tell you how emotional and thankful and grateful i am and was for them i just started crying <laughs> I'm gonna cry again <laughs> because uh, you just feel after having your privacy invaded and going through something so horrible you feel like people are just so how can someone be so mean and disrespectful and rob you literally and commit theft and then when they just gave me my stuff back um I just started crying because it's like there are still good people in this world I was so thankful you have no idea now keep in mind I've already canceled gosh I've already canceled all of those cards by the time they gave them back to me But it was just knowing like I already have all new cards on the way a new bank account all that stuff But it was just knowing that I had my old stuff back in my possession and that they would take the time to find me to Bring me this stuff and it wasn't easy. They live two towns over this man was definitely elderly. He had like a military vet hat on and he was like walking up to my door with a cane. Um, like it was, it was not, it was like not a struggle, but like it was, uh, it took them a lot of time and effort to come to my home to make sure that I got my stuff back. And I just can't even say how emotional I felt in that moment. I was so grateful. So because I had to call and cancel all my debit cards, 
or because everything was taken, I had to go to the bank that week to get cash a few days ago to get cash to like live my life because all my cards were canceled. So, um, I had cash on me, which I usually don't carry much cash, but I did that day. I'm like, sir, let me pay you. Like, let me give you a few hundred bucks. Him and his wife were like, no, no, no. Like they would not take anything. I kept asking them, uh, if we could give them cash, whatever. They're like, no, 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 this is our good deed for the year. Like we just really wanted to find you. Um, I had like water bottles outside my door because I have like some snacks and water bottles outside the door for like Amazon drivers and like holiday delivery drivers, like a little thing. So I had that. I'm like, do you guys want food? Do you want water? Do you want to come in? Like, what can I do for you? And they were like, no, no, no. Like, we're just so happy that we found you. The lady was so nice. She was like, I know it must be a pain in the butt to get a new driver license during COVID. Like it's probably on a delay, like longer than it would regularly take you to get that. So she's like, we just wanted to, our main goal was just to find you, give this back to you, like make sure we like found you to your face and physically gave you back your stuff. And I just can't say how grateful I am for them. Um, it really like changed my whole mood and outlook on everything. It's crazy when I was sitting at home emotional and upset and just feeling violated from this whole theft. I didn't even know it, but at the exact time that I was on my couch crying, feeling down about all this, there was this couple a few towns away that same day who were already working on my behalf, trying to find me, trying to give me my stuff back. And I didn't even know it. Like the universe was working in such an amazing way to get me my stuff back. And I'm pretty good if I set my intention on something, I know how to consciously manifest. And if I wanted to manifest, you know, my cards or my purse back or whatever, I'm sure I could have, but I kind of just had the attitude personally after all this happened. I'm like, you know what? They're material things, they're gone. It's totally fine. Let me just do what I gotta do and move forward. But I was, I actually was not manifesting getting all that stuff back. I, I thought it was all just kind of gone forever and I ordered new cards. Like I was not, the very last thing I was expecting was for someone to come to my door and give me my stuff back. And yeah, I just want to say for you guys, like anything that happens, there could definitely be be a silver lining, a positive out of it. Like we're in control of the way that we feel of our actions, of how we respond to the situation. Um, this guy just pulled up right next to me and there's a whole lot like, sir, go somewhere else. Um, but anywho, I, I'm so grateful. You just, you have no idea. I'm so insanely grateful. Um, they're amazing. They're like my guardian angels. They did me such they're like, oh, this is our good deed for the year. I'm like, you are so amazing. So they're great. I got that stuff back again. It's not that it matters really because I've already ordered new cards and done new accounts and all that stuff. But just to know that I have my stuff back in my possession, no one has it is amazing. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. This has been almost 10 minutes. So let's move on. Okay, so I just got back home. I want to show you guys a few things. I got this fixed flat bench for the home gym, which just looks like this. I'm not going to unpack it and put it together right now. I'll probably do that tomorrow. But the brand is Fitness Gear. This is from Dick's Sporting Goods. It was on sale for under 100 bucks. So if you need a flat bench for like glute hip thrusts or like triceps she's doing or anything like that, it's on sale right now. I also picked up this speed jump rope. Let me bring y'all over here. I don't want to show you the whole home gym right now because my dad's coming tomorrow to put the mirror up. Um, but I did get this for Christian. This is an Everlast like boxing situation. He's super excited to play with this. You just put sand or water in the bottom to hold it down. But Christian really loves this. Um, and then I also wanted to show you guys, it's, it's really a mess tonight and I, we're not going to finish it till tomorrow. So I'm going to wait to give you a full tour. But um, we did bring the Peloton down here. I had this upstairs. For some reason, the Peloton is super heavy. Like the tr even the treadmill is lighter than this. So this was hard. I needed two people to bring it down. Um, but we got this down here as well. And then I also decided to put this guy up on the wall for like my gym stuff. So we have some barbell clamps here. These are a bunch of glute hip thrust bands. We have light, medium, heavy. These ones are from Ethos. These are a little bit thicker. They're heavier. These are for Olympic size barbells. Let me open her here. So these are actually a lot heavier. These ones were from Walmart because I thought I found cheaper barbells there, but it turns out they're not Olympic size. They're like a random ass Walmart size. So I had to return those, but I did keep the clamps in case I need them for something else. But these were 10 bucks and these were like 50. So these are way better. The, again, the brand is ethos. They have a lot of other like barbell stuff. So I got a red pair of those more booty bands. These are the first form glute bands. These are my favorite out of all of them. I've owned like 20 glute bands over time, but these are just made the best. They're super, super thick. Oops, sorry. They have their little logo there. This one is the medium, I believe. It comes with a medium and a large. And with the first form ones, they actually have this little like, oop, like net carrying case. So I really like that. So then I just used a uh, the bottom hangers for a bunch of hats. We have some Adidas. 
what is this one? This one's from TJ Maxx. This one is from First Form. And then we have a jump rope. And then I also got this guy, which I'm gonna be hanging up here. Um, so this, this little rack was like 10 bucks at TJ Maxx and it just like fits in the gym perfectly. And then I also wanna frame some pictures right here, like some motivational, inspirational, like gym photos right here with like three matching frames. So that's why I'm gonna wait as well. I have to put together a little bit more um, equipment and then put some stuff up on the walls along with the mirror. And then I will give you guys a full home gym tour with like links to everything. All right, so I'm cooking up some dinner. We got some chicken thighs that were pre-seasoned for my veggies. I'm gonna do a bunch of zucchini, and then I personally like to put the Trader Joe's teriyaki sauce on top, or I'll do this guy. It's pretty identical to the panda sauce, or it is the exact panda sauce. This one is 70 cal for 38 grams, and I'll usually just use like half a serving. This is how I season my veggies. I'll put like this on here, but the chicken's already pre-seasoned. It needs like five minutes on medium heat, then you flip it and you're good. I'll be having 110 grams of chicken, which is four ounces sprayed the pan with this guy. And then for my carbs, I'm gonna do half a packet of the Uncle Ben's Ready Rice. So back home, I just wanna share with you guys actually a few things I picked up at TJ Maxx on the like health and fitness uh, category. Sorry if you can hear that cooking, but I picked up the PB2. There is a recipe in Leah's ebook that I wanna do where you do Greek yogurt with some PB2 drizzled on top for like a nighttime macro cap. Um, and it looked really good, but I ran out of PB2. So we got this true nut flavor, never tried it. Hopefully it's good few other things well this is not really fitness but I found some L'Oreal sugar scrubs there for like literally two bucks I also didn't know they had Milani liquid lipsticks there again two bucks can't beat it and then my lips always get super dry so I haven't heard of this brand but I picked up this pawpaw multi-purpose balm there's two of them in there this one looks a little bit tinted and then that one's probably just like clear and now I also got my main planner for 2021 already so this will be a secondary one it's just a smaller one I can fit in my bag it's got like little tabs um, you can put like a picture in here, has cute little tabs, and then a uh, pretty good space for like per day, pretty adequate space. I might use this for meal planning or something, but this will be a secondary smaller planner because the first one I have, I personally prefer a little bit of a bigger planner. I'm a super visual person and I need a lot of room to write, but I kind of just got that as a secondary one. I got a pink pajama set. It's really cute. It's just like pink splatters. And then I got two workout tank tops. I got this pair of sandals, even though we're heading into winter. These were on clearance, so I just picked them up like for next summer. Super cute. How much were these? 20 bucks. And then I got these guys. I've actually gotten these before, I think from Trader Joe's, but I found this brand at TJ Maxx and just wanted to pick these guys up. Gluten-free dark chocolate peanut butter balls, really good. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, and then I did run out of my pink Himalayan salt the other day, so I found this one at TJ Maxx. Don't know the brand, it was random, just got that. And then the last thing is this body wash. So I recently purchased some purple shampoo from this brand since I'm pretty much going blonde. I'm still like kind of brown, but there's a ton of blonde highlights in my hair now. So I was told from Sarah to use the purple shampoo. Um, and then I noticed this brand also had a body wash. So I just decided to pick this guy up. Guys, literally this smells so good. I can't even tell you. Oh, sorry, the lens is fogging up. I did one full cup of rice, 112 grams of chicken, which is four ounces, and then the zucchini. Um, I'm actually gonna cook all this up right now for the rest of the week and kind of just meal prep it. Um, it it's kind of crispy on the end, and it's pre-seasoned, which is so nice, so I love that. We're gonna do that for lunch, but I wanted to actually show you guys as well. I picked up, hi, Sadie, a few things at Lulu. Nothing crazy, just four things, and I haven't done a Lulu haul in forever. Um, so I figured, do we care? Should I do a little, I feel like I should just do a little try on for you guys. You don't want to be down on the ground right there. Let me just put you here. Is that good? Okay. I just worked out, so I'm sure I look, you know, fabulous. Hi, CD. So I picked up two jackets. I've been wanting the Define jacket in camo. I had a, I had one before for like four years. It never peeled. The material was great. I ended up giving it to my mom, I think. Um, but it was always just a staple jacket. So they finally came out with this camo version. It's got a hoodie. I got this one in a size eight. I'm just gonna try everything on for you guys because why not? Also, just please ignore your girl needs a tan so badly. Um, this is super, super cute. Again, I've had this exact jacket. Also, these pants that I'm wearing are from Lulu. Um, I could put the style of these jackets down below. The bra is from Balance, um, but I thought this was so cute. I just have to show you guys. 
I mean, how cute are we? Just with any black leggings or black shorts, I feel like this will go so well. I know the Define jackets are a bit pricey. I like to have at least one, like I got a plain black one. That can go with everything if you're on a budget. Totally understand, but they do last like forever. Balance and Lulu is pretty much all I wear for workout gear now because I just really trust the quality. Also, these are my new favorite pants. I do, I've had these, I didn't buy them today. I don't know the style name, but I can find it and put it down below. But they're so incredibly comfy. They're high rise and they have a key pocket in the back because I've been running a lot. And they have a little bit of like detailing contouring on the butt. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I'm not gonna take off my bra right now, so I'm not gonna show you these other two bras on. But I'll show you them here. This is the Align Tank. I got this one in a size 10, $58. This does come with pads, but I think I'm gonna take them out just with having my surgery. I don't really need the pads, but I love that this is like half tank, half bra because it's really long. I'm not ready to show my whole stomach in the gym yet. No, ma'am, I really just love having it more covered. So by the time you have high-waisted leggings and then a longer top, barely any of my stomach shows, and I really like this. It's just classic. It can go with anything. Made really well. It does have that like built-in bra. And then I also got it in black. It's funny because I, um, it's big. I tried it on and I wasn't sure if they'd have the fitting rooms open with COVID, but they did. But um, it's big in the waist, like this part comes out a bit and there's a gap because my waist is leaning down, but it's really tight on my chest, obviously because of my implants. But um, so I was like debating if I should get a size eight, but I don't want it to be too tight here, but there's definitely a gap here and I'm gonna continue leaning down. So might have to get an eight at some point, but I like to take the pads out and just have it be like more natural. But for me, if you're close to my body size or shape, in this specific tank, I would go for a 10. So again, it's the Align tank. Um, intended to provide light support for an ARB cup. Oh, 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 my bad, your girl is a D. Okay, oops, didn't know. Nulu fabric is sweat wicking and four-way stretch, tight fit, cropped length pockets for optional removable cups. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take them out, anywho. And then I just got the exact same defined jacket in black. Love this, staple, can obviously go with anything. Black is nice, because if you wanna wear colored leggings or patterned leggings, I mean, you could just pair a black jacket literally with anything. I don't know if you guys can tell super well on camera, but it has really nice stitching. Made super, super well. Also, one of my nails popped off. I know, tragedy. So, anywho, love all those. Um, those were just the four things that I got. Okay, I'm gonna go have lunch and let you guys go. I'm gonna cut off the vlog because I wanna start another vlog tonight. I feel like I'm so re-inspired for videos. I wanna just crank them out. I went to Staples today and I bought um, two new whiteboards, a bunch of post-its and highlighters and a bunch of stuff to do my goal setting video. So please stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed. I wanna make sure that you guys see that video. Um, and I am showing my 75 hard progress every day on my IG story just to keep me accountable. I know you guys are like waiting for me to post my check-ins and my meals and it's been keeping me super up on it. So if you do wanna follow along my weight loss progress, what I'm eating, everything, what books I'm reading for 75 hard, just everything like that, definitely follow my Instagram. I'm on my story every day. Um, and yeah, make sure you're subscribed here and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.